So if you're invested in the TSP and the TSP is your primary vehicle, then you may be wondering, do I need a financial planner? I mean, isn't the TSP just managing my, my money for me? There's a lot to unpack there in that simple question. So let's start with, I think, a misconception about what a financial planner does. So a lot of times when you hear financial planner, uh, you get a picture of some guy on Wall Street that's buying and selling stocks. And I would say at least I can speak for our firm that's couldn't be further from the truth of what we do. In fact, it shocks people to find out that on a daily basis, dealing with the investment side of things is a very small part of, of what we do as financial planners. More so, what we're, we're working with our clients on is developing strategies You know, in terms of how do you take money uh, in retirement, developing strategies around savings and goals, looking at tax efficiencies, looking at the right products to accomplish very specific goals. So a, a lot of our time is spent actually providing advice and guidance, helping our clients work through the math, really doing the planning part of financial planning. And some of what we do is helping create investment strategies and, and managing those investment strategies. But that's certainly not all that we do. So, so the quick answer to that is, you know, whether you need a financial planner or not, I don't know. I guess it depends on what your goals and how capable you are uh, at planning finances, how well versed you are in the world of financial planning and tax strategies and and social security law and tax law and all those things. You know, if you've spent years researching all of that, you have a really good grasp on that, then there's a chance that you don't need a financial planner. The second part to that question is, isn't the TSP doing that for me? And I think Hopefully, in, in my previous answer, you, you can see all the things that the TSP is not doing. The other thing is, is it's a self-directed investment. So the TSP itself isn't providing you any guidance or feedback uh, or even uh, managing the investment. You just tell them where you want to, to put the money, uh, and they're a holding place, like a bank, uh, for that money. But there's nobody at TSP that's really guiding you or providing advice on your investments inside the TSP. That's up to you to know how to put together that asset allocation. Now, there's one caveat, and that is unless you're using the uh, L funds, the life cycle funds. So the L income fund, the 2020, the 2030, uh, those are managed by BlackRock. Uh, and the way that they work is they, they are based on a target date. So for example, 2030 means that you plan on withdrawing that money in the year 2030. And as a result, that fund becomes more and more and more conservative as you get closer to that withdrawal date. So those funds do have a little bit more automation than the rest of the TSP. But again, still nobody there to really advise you. It's up to you uh, to choose the strategy that's right for you. So hopefully that gives you a, a good idea of what a financial planner does. Uh, so that maybe you can make a decision whether that's something that you feel like you need or not. Uh, if you have any questions or want to explore this further, I would love to do that with you. Uh, we'll include a, a phone number after this video. Go ahead and give me a call and we can chat.